Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Echo. Very nice to meet you. It's a beautiful day in Hong Kong and I'm excited to share another vlog with you guys. But before I proceed, I just want to thank all of you who took the time to greet me on my birthday. All of you made my birthday extra special. Thank you very much and I hope that you're all safe, staying healthy and keeping a positive mind. For today's vlog, I'm going to share with you some of the tips and tricks that I learned on how to keep your fresh flowers last longer. Flowers are common gifts for any special occasions. And if you're wondering why women are often drawn to flowers, that is because flowers are associated with being special. And of course, with romance. Flowers particularly with roses. In fact, flowers have been the universal messengers of love. If you are at loss for words but want to express your feelings for someone, I love you. flowers can serve as a powerful expression of affection. My best friend Jason from the Philippines has sent me these gorgeous flowers on my birthday. It was such a sweet gesture from a dear friend and he certainly made my day. I've had these flowers for 12 days now and they're still looking beautiful and fresh. So, if you want to learn a few simple tricks on how to keep your flowers looking beautiful and fresh for a longer period, keep watching and we'll jump right into it. I love fresh flowers. Roses are my favorite. I love the smell of lilies. And I'm a big fan of orchids. I've always wanted to grow my own flower garden one day. Picking fresh flowers in the morning from my own garden for home decoration is something I dreamed of. I don't know about you, but for me, having fresh flowers at home brightens up the apartment and it brightens up my mood. I love its smell and it helps me feel and think better. Another thing I love about having flowers at home is the fact that some flowering plants can filter and clean the air in your room. Plus, if you pick the right color and the right style, it can complement your interior design. Most cut flowers can last anywhere from 7 to 12 days if properly cared for. Unfortunately, I've had cases wherein my fresh flowers would only last 2 to 3 days after buying them. In some cases, they would last for maximum 4 to 5 days, but that is it. I wasn't quite sure what I was doing wrong, and in the beginning, I thought it has something to do with the quality of the flowers that I bought, or it has something to do with the amount of water that I give the flowers. Eventually, I stopped buying fresh roses because I felt that it was a waste of money. Especially here in Hong Kong. In Parkview, six pieces of roses cost 70 Hong Kong dollars. So, I started to buy artificial flowers. But I must admit, they are not as pretty and as satisfying as the real ones. Lucky for me, Kenny brings me flowers even without a special occasion. So I started doing experiments and I have tried a few techniques on how I can make my flowers last longer. The tricks that I'm sharing with you is by far the most effective and guaranteed your flowers will last for more than a week. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm not a professional florist. I'm just sharing with you the knowledge that I learned through my personal experience. Flower care tips number one. First, I recommend washing the stems carefully. You'll notice an off smell, but that is completely normal. The stems will also be slightly slippery. Washing will get rid of the unpleasant odor, existing bacteria, and fungi. When done, 
cut the stems about an inch or two and it's important to cut in an angle. This will allow for a better water intake. After the initial cut, I recommend to cut the stems again once every two to three days. Pruning is important. Remove the leaves below the water line to prevent bacterial growth. For roses, to allow the flower to fully open up, remove the two or three outermost petals. It's important to check your flowers daily for dead or loose leaves and petals. Remove them immediately to avoid bacterial rot. Pick a clean flower vase. Fill it with room temperature water. It's important to clean your vase well and replace the water every two to three days. Flowers can last longer in a room with cool temperature, so avoid direct sunlight or placing the flowers near appliances that generate heat. Another trick is to keep your bouquet of flowers away from ripening fruit. Ripening fruits apparently releases tiny amounts of ethylene gas that can reduce the longevity of your flowers. Finally, the most important trick that will make your flowers looking beautiful, looking fresh, and last longer is to use flower food. Flower food is a tried and true way to keep your blooms fresh for a longer period. That's right everybody, I wish I had known this trick from the start. Flower food are inexpensive and they are super easy to use. You can find it at any flower shop. Here in Hong Kong, this 3 packets cost $10 only. Some flower food requires a liter or half a liter of water. So be sure to read the instructions on the back of the packaging. All you gotta do is pour the flower food into the water and mix it well. Do this once every two to three days. The only thing left to do now is to arrange the flowers. Today is the fourth time that I've changed up the water and flower food. It's quite incredible that even after day 12, my flowers are still looking happy and beautiful. If in any case you can't find flower food, I've got you covered because you might have a few things in your kitchen that can help improve the life of your flowers. Try using soda. Pour a quarter of a cup of soda in a vase full of fresh flowers. The sugar in soda will make the flowers last longer. This is tried and tested and guaranteed your flowers will last for up to 10 days. Another thing you can do is to put your flowers in the fridge every night before you go to bed. Flowers thrive in cool temperature. This is tried and tested and your flowers will look healthy even on day 10. Ever wonder why florists put your flowers in the fridge? Well, now you know. To all the men out there who's thinking of giving flowers for your girlfriend, for your wife, for your mom or your grandma, to your sister or to your crush, I highly recommend that you include several packets of flower food. Trust me on this, your girl will appreciate your gesture even more. I don't know about you, but I find flowers in a vase very classy. And remember, you don't have to wait for a special occasion to give flowers. In fact, most women would say no reason is the best reason to get flowers. To all the women out there, I just want to remind you that you don't have to wait for a special occasion to get flowers from someone. By all means, buy yourself a bouquet. If you want it, go get it. It doesn't have to be a gift from someone all the time. If it makes you happy, get in yourself. All the more if you love having fresh flowers at home. Some men just don't think about these things. So do yourself a favor. If you love flowers, go tell your man about it. Tell him what's your favorite flower and how much you appreciate receiving flowers as a present. And it's important to remember to not say just once. 
You may have to remind him once in a while. What about you? What do you normally do to make your flowers last longer? If you have some tricks up your sleeve that were not covered on this vlog, please post your ideas in the comment section below. That is it you guys. I hope you learned something new today. Follow this simple flower care tips and I guarantee your blooms are gonna love you. You're gonna make most of your flower and more importantly, you're going to get your money's worth. Thank you guys for watching. If you find this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Please like and follow my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. As always, your support is much appreciated. You guys, keep safe, stay healthy, and keep a positive mind. I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!